Last time we left the high five, they successfully uh, usurped the dictator uh, Yellowcrest from his throne uh, and liberated the city of not only Greenfast, but of Waterdeep, sorry, town of Greenfast and city of Waterdeep. And our held as heroes oh, yeah. through a lot of off screen and Vito didn't change the cards. Um, mm. Yep, I'll do that. A lot of off-screen shenanigans. A lot of you took time in the uh, town to do some side stuff off-camera. Um, however, you all met up again at the Vampire's Manor and realized that Arnelf has... Basically, uh, when Yelkers died, the magic went with him, and he, the vampire took himself, the coffin, and just, pun intended, vamped out of there. Uh, he left you two books. One was his accounts on how he became a vampire. The other one was uh, Lore LaRue, in which, wouldn't you know it, you got sucked into it. Um... Also, you guys got your level 8. Ooh, ooh, so that's yes. fun. Yay, level 8. <laughs> level 8. Adult dragons, go! Yeah. Sorry. So, as you enter the brook... Uh, the book properly... Um... You're on the fringe of a meadow that borders a forest. Tall trees of several varieties stretch before you as far as the eye can see. Behind you is a range of formidable mountain peaks as the remnant of the setting sun dips below the horizon. A rising full moon illuminates the darkened sky. Narcrawl. Yep. Unfortunately, it's weird that there's a full moon in the sky, and you're not changing. Oh. That's a plus for us. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need somebody to make me an investigation check. And... Yeah, okay. An investigation check. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Mine's not great. Grex isn't great either. This does have advantage. Oh, for. Oh, well, general. So, Jen, as you go uh, to uh, see what's in the meadow, you touch it and you feel what's supposed to be air feels like paper. And you realize that this is not. This scenery is painted on. Huh. Jen will just move their hand about at a bunch of different things around. See you that... see, it feels like paper. Like you're outstretching your hand to feel like the bark of a tree or like leaves, but all you feel is paper. Huh. All right, I'm back, guys. All right. Uh, guys, I... I think we're inside the book. Check it out. Look. And Jen will just kind of crumple a little bit of the, uh, okay. whatever he's touching. Paper bark. Paper. Piece of paper. Yes. Crumples like a piece of paper. Paper. Sorry, that's from Waterworld. <laughs> Edith wants to uh, reach down and kind of check out the the paper as well. It, it's paper. Like, you see scenery, you should be able to go through it, but you touch it and it's like... It, it's like movie theater paper against the brick wall. She wants to kind of shove her hand into it. So yeah, as you shove your hand into it, you feel like a hard service like you're going like you you're ripping the paper slightly and then you feel a hard surface doom, doom. Um, one of those holes she's 
like I feel something solid on the other side, guys, and she's gonna kind of push on through it. All right, as you slightly rip the paper, you find what appears to be red leather. Just like a wall of red leather. I think this is the outside of the book. This is the the cover of the book. What do y'all make of this, Jin? Uh, well, it told us to flip the page, and Jen is going to look like in the direction that Edith is at, turn like 180 degrees, and like gesture to start walking in that direction. Uh, so Jen, as you begin walking, thud. Thud. Like some sort of invisible force field is blocking you. From walking forward? Oh, you're walking forward if I walk it backwards. Never mind. No, 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 forward. Alright, as you walk forward, well, actually, before you walk forward, Ivan goes, What are those? And he points to Grook's feet. The boots. Yeah, I know they're boots, but they're not the same boots you'd be wearing. I I met up with a very appreciative cobbler in the city. Oh. Okay. While you, while you were chatting with the vampire that I refused to talk to. Quick slips in last minute. Hey guys, Psh, sucked. Hey, fancy ass boots. I know, really fancy ass boots. You, you notice that Gruck is not leaving dragon shaped footprints either. Oh, cool. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Neat. What do we see out in front of us? Like, is it just like open You're white? You're seeing what's on your screen. Oh, I'll walk with Jim. I had to. Yeah. Force. Yeah, walking. Walk on. Down right. the path that's before us. Alright, as you walk forward, you hear a disembodied voice go, Now it is time for the tale of Lo the Rue, written by. And I'm going to fuck this name up Akamane True Silver. Dedication page. To my lovely Laura. Chapter 1 Satyrs in Distress. Well, sounds like we're gonna be part of a Fae. It's gonna be a Fae tale. Uh, can I do like a uh, knowledge hint to see if I maybe heard of, heard of this tale before? Um. Unfortunately, this is not a Fae tale. Yeah. You can certainly try, but the DC's gonna be high on history. Alright. Give it a shot. I rolled a 20 modded. So, it's not Fae It's more celestial than anything. Oh. I'm gonna kinda tell the party that this is a Celestian tale that I've read about. Do I know anything else about the tale? Nope. I've read the book before, but I just don't remember what happened in the story, guys. So, but this is about angels and stuff like that. But it just wasn't interesting. It wasn't very interesting. Ah. Ah. See. I don't just keep walking yeah. forward. Uh, Ivan's gonna being a celestial. He is gonna oh. quickly roll a history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I don't know anything about this book either. Well, maybe you should. Hold but on. Uh, I mean, hmm. 
So I guess am the I still book holding the book? Oh yeah, no, the, 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 the so. book. It, no, you're not. Vote. This is not Price of Beauty. You're not holding the book. Yeah, I got it there. My bad. Nay. Right. Sully, as the high five goes on their merry way across the brook and meadow. Again, you guys are like eyebrows. What the fuck? Record scratch. What? Yeah. So Jen, every time they speak, Jen, Jen has a a paper out and is transcribing everything that's being said. Jen hastily writes down the descriptions from the narrator's point of view. <laughs> What's the language the narrator is talking? Narcro questions the narrator's language, even though it's common. Oh. Sorry, Jen said transcribe. I confused that translate. Pushing forward, <laughs> writing yeah, everything they say. Jen continues to scribble down. Uh, Edith wants to prep, uh, you know, place her hand on her gun ready for combat. And uh, Edith readies her action. Narco looks to the sky and this disembodied voice says, What the actual fuck is happening? Narco seems confused. <laughs> I think the narrator is about to tell us where to go next. And that's what Jen says <laughs> out loud. <laughs> uh, done. All right. As you walk down the road, you see three bipedal creatures that combine the features of men and goats laugh drunkenly. As they stumble from the woods, they sway back and forth while greeting you enthusiastically in Sylvan. Does anybody here speak Sylvan? That's the name. Nope. I was gonna be like, let me see. Uh, no. Uh, wasn't it? Make funny. You speak Sylvan. Uh, well, I will ask it psionically if it can uh, speak any other languages. At this point in the story, Grook takes two of his fingers and puts it to his temple to speak to the Sata psionically. The series look at you. Yeah. And then, and you see one of the series go, and and the, the, the lead satyr of this little frat starts speaking in Elvish. Anybody here know Elvish? Yup. Yup. You see. And he's gonna go, you know, I'm Tragos, and this is Artelio and Funyangi. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, the Satyrs appear very drunk because they're Satyrs. Oh. Seems racist. Edith oh. wants to uh, speak up to him and say, uh, do y'all want to go get drunk together? Edith, do you speak Elvish? Mm-hmm. And he goes, Oh, I know you. You're a... Uh, Lola Bunny. No, you're a... Harrigan. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh, you see... Uh, uh, chill, 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 chill. All right. Well, I'm... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm... Tragos, and this is Artelio and Funangi. And, uh, we were, like, partying back there, and we kind of lost our way. Um, and, like, all these ravens just, like, attacked us. Oh. For some reason. Narco looks at Jen. Yeah, I'm gonna look over at Jen and be like, this is kind of your department. Jen summons Lenore. Are you responsible for this? Yeah, it looked like that. 
Yeah. The, 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 the thing on your shoulder. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, looks like that. Alright, uh, listen, now, did you uh, first attack them with an AoE spell? Was it an ABC spell? <laughs> Inside joke. An ABC spell? A, 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 B, B, A, B, C, A? Yeah, yeah, you got it, buddy. Okay, good, 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 good. He starts taking out the pan flute. All right, so, like, we're lost. So, speaking of lost. A and B, where did you see these ravens? Uh, well, uh... I'm sorry, what was the question? Where were you when you were attacked by the ravens? Uh, I would tell you, but we have a la lady company. What? I assure you there's no lady here. <laughs> there's Edith. <laughs> Edith like, kind of punch him in the arm, and she's like, I'm a lady. Lady and and she's going to, she's like, I'm sure it, uh, it's definitely okay. I take no offense, kind Seder. Good. Because you're hot. Anyway. That's one. One what? Continue. Okay. Anyway, so we were like chilling and, you know drinking and you know orgies and you know pan flutes and you know it was all that stuff anyway so uh i it's just been wild man like these thunderstorms are starting to happen like wild men are starting to appear out of nowhere uh the evil unicorn i think the evil unicorn yeah Uh, well, did I say evil unicorn? I said evil unicorn. Yes, yes. El elaborate on the e evil unicorn, please. Oh, uh, it's the it, it, it's these. All right, let me see if I can remember. But the evil unicorn. Can I cast remove curse on this motherfucker? <laughs> Unfortunately, tr being drunk is not a curse. <laughs> it's technically a poison. Um, it's uh with my plus one intelligence, but I wrote disadvantage because I'm drunk. Uh, I don't know something about like beware the thunderstorms that come and the unicorn that follows. That's all I remember, bro. Where's the narrator when you do need you, him? Do you know Lesser Restoration, Narco? I do. I have it prepared. Would this guy be more <clears throat> of use to us if he was less drunk? He does appear to have a lot of knowledge. And this does take care of the poisoned condition. Listen, we just want to go back to the plateau. We want to, like, help us. Maybe the big tree knows stuff perhaps the big tree is not drunk big yes. tree can't perhaps get drunk big tree it's a tree stuff. well do you want to like help us sure. like not you in particular but it seems like something to do um, yeah i mean we know the way i mean all right <laughs> the fucking frat boy do you know the way i i do know the way it looks like the pied piper all right. Oh, bro. Bro, you got a shock on that? Bra. Bra. Uh, no, no. Lead the way. Right. All right. As the satyrs follow and escort the high five through the forest, fate intervenes. She goes down. I need. I need says fate. I need. 
Nocrawl to roll me a d10. Nocrawl's like, weapon's hot. Mmm! Get some! Uh huh. As the high five continues their journey down the road with these jovial satyrs, they are suddenly attacked by werebores! Werebores? Mm. Yep. So before, as soon as the narrator says that, uh, can we all prepare an action? No, no, it's a surprise attack. Okay. So this one's going to attack. Not crawl first. First with his toss. No. Where is it? I just sad you. Bingo. First is going to attack with his tusks. Narcrawl does a 20 hit you. Yeah, sure. I'll allow it. You're taking 14 slashing damage. Ooh. And I need a con save from you. All right. Uh, by the way, we can see your rolls there. Oh, wait, you can see my rolls? Yep. Yo. Oh shit. Sorry. Normally we can't. My bad. I just switched to the GM. It's all good, homie. I'm that all guy right. that'll tell you if you got fucking spinach your teeth every time. Uh, sorry, was it 14? 14. Slashing, and I need a con save from you. Mmm. 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 Garbage. Nocrawl, you're cursed with werebore lycanthropy. Wait, what? You you're now a werebear <laughs> and a werebore. <laughs> Does do they cancel each other out? <laughs> or does he take no. the No. What does that mean? No. Does he take the oh, biggest can I get the full moon? Does he turn into like a man bear pig or something? I, yeah. <laughs> no, they do not. Man bear pig. Yes. Yes. Please do. <laughs> no, but that was the first. No, that was the first attack. Second attack on Narcrawl. <laughs> you can do stat block for a man bear pig. I'm sorry. Yes, please. <laughs> Would that actually kind of like be a gerbil? <laughs> All right. Anyway, second attack on <laughs> Narcrawl will be does a oh that's not gonna hit. Does a twelve hit you? No. All right, and then the second werebore is going to attack. There's a second werebore. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. Pshh. Second attack is gonna be with the tusks on Edith. Edith does a. a Pretty sure a 24 hits you. <laughs> yes, it definitely does. You're taking 12 slashing damage. All right. And the second with the maul. Uh, does a 22 hit you? It definitely does. Take 10 bludgeoning damage. And we are going to roll initiative. Ivan. So is it just one satyr, or did you say there was three? Three, I grouped them. Oh, okay, I got you. They're they're not gonna be any help. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Making a judgment call. You just need to get in the way. Edith, you're up first. Also, hang on. Just yeah, I don't think so. Narcrawl. Edith wants to bunny hop and bounce over to here. You don't think so? Yeah. And you said uh, you were going first before Jen. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. All right. She 
she's gonna open up her shots with them. It's a 14 hit. 14. Does hit. Awesome. First shot does 26 damage to him. 26. Also, Edith, I forgot. Roll me a con save. Okie dokie. From before. Uh, 22. Yep, you succeeded. You're not cursed. Alright. So 26 uh, takes the 26 piercing. Wait, is the bullet silvered? It's magical. Ah, gotcha. It's a magical mm. weapon shooting it. Yep. 26 piercing. And, and 27. Up. Yep, anything else? Um... How does the, how does this man bear whatever this thing is look? Four. Four. Yep. Uh, this one looks very injured. This one is just fine. Hmm. I'll save my. Uh, I'll I'll save my. You know what? Yeah, I'll save it. And Edith wants to move to about right here. All right. Next up is Grook. Um, I don't know if I want to spend resources here. I, don't I just know. found that, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, Grux just gonna. He's gonna go to over here, and he's gonna try to thorn whip the one away from Narkel. Okay. Maybe. Am I the only hit? one that doesn't see him, his character on the map? What? I don't see his character. I only see. Oh, okay. I see it now. There we go. Thank you for being in it. All right. Uh, Fifteen does hit. Six nine piercing. And I drag it away from Narkel. Do I get an attack on it? No. It's only no. a legly move. All right. And, uh... Uh, not much. All right. Next up is Ivan. Ivan is going to It's going to take out Serpent Spang. And it's going to go for this one, this dude. And 18 does hit. So how much? It's going to do. It's going to do. Three. Oh wait, he's two handing it because doesn't have a shield on him. He's gonna do seven slashing and four poison, and this dude is severely bloodied, but still kicking. Let's get an Ivan's turn. Next up is the satyrs. One of the satyrs is going to shut up. Satyrs is going to ram it. See if he can get the final hit. He does. It doesn't matter. This dude had like one hit point left. Uh, two of the satyrs are going to go over here and both ram it. And they one hits, one misses. And that's going to be... <laughs> Uh, 
Sorry, ignore that. It's going to be. And this is going to be. Three bludgeoning. This guy, but it doesn't work because Seder's Ram is not magical. Next up, Jen. Jen is going to move around everyone, run up to the werebore, punch it in the face. Okay. For a natural 20. Not a yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. So for plus. Bless. Oh, disregard that roll. That was the wrong click. Okay. My bad. Let me let me fix that. Wonder why it was so much. So that plus uh was that twelve plus an additional uh, uh and 13, 14, 15. 15 points in the first punch, and then stunning strike uh, on that. It just needs to make a con save. Okay. I think it made it. Let me check. 13. No, 12. It 12. It did not make it. Okay. So it is now stunned. Okay. For me. This. Uh, okay, yep, that's what I thought. Alright, so the second attack is going to be... Uh, I'm going to punch him again. At advantage. I'm going to crit fish. 21. Okay. I'm going to do... Six plus two, uh, eight, ten, ten points of uh, piercing slash bludgeoning slash silver damage. Yeah, at least I'm wearing for the rest of us, bro. <laughs> and then <laughs> Jen is going to, as a bonus action. Yeah. All right, Jen's just going to run around it uh, like three times. No, then... Carl's like, it's, it's a chest <laughs> match all over again. Then sprint off <laughs> over here and tell Yell for Lenore to assist Narcrawl. Oh, okay. And that's the end of uh, Jen's turn. All right, Narcrawl, this dude is really looking really injured. And I am going to go overkill. So I did find a stat block. I'm going to use my charge ability. Okay. Is it member pig? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Roll it. Roll it's it for you. Stat block. It's a thing. It's no. a thing, but it's a thing. No, no. <laughs> Come on. So he doesn't take the 40 bludgeon. <laughs> He's not taking 40 bludgeon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to pull my silver great axe out of the sheath. Okay. And make an attack. At advantage. Uh -huh. oh. You got to get near it first. Oh, we'll say yes. Who is that a net 20? That is a net yeah. 20. Let's go. So. Why are there two different numbers there? Oh, because that's how you. Two rolls? Damage doubled? Yep, damage. Uh, no, no, no. Double rolls. So, sorry, you want me to roll damage again? No, no. Just roll the great X damage twice. It's double dice. You right click. 
you right click you and de uh, for the weapon's damage, you can roll with crit. Oh. So, plus three. So, 15 points of damage. Alright, it's bloodied. Well. Wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's all we got. Alright. Next up is this dude's it's turn. It's silver too, eh? The axe is silver. It is silvered. It doesn't do double damage. Okay. Um, he's going to maul you twice. So first maul with second maul. I think does a seventeen hit? Does not. All right. Well, Edith, can you finish it off? Perry, Perry. Twenty-five hits. Yeah. Bye. Initiative over. I mean, you already killed him with the first shot. He was like, "I told you." Just make an appointment to the other shot. Yeah, Narco's Maybe. gonna collapse all sweaty and shit. Uh huh. Because I feel like these two curses are like battling in his body right now. Oh, they 100% are. But he physically has no idea how to respond to that. He just gonna um... come over there and cast Cure Light Wounds on him. Alright. And he takes. He heals four points of damage. What I get? Jen's gonna reach into the bag of holding. Unless you have healing yourself. Uh, speaking of the bag of holding, you guys just got two malls. <laughs> okay, let me add those in there. Um, uh, well, not like, HP wise, it's fine. Edith's going to then touch herself and heal her. And three points of damage. She heals. And... Yeah, Narka's going to roll over. And... Narka had the bad fish. I'm going to make... Stealth check. And he's going to pull a dagger out. And you'll see him cut his hand a little bit swirl his right finger his uh, middle finger from his right hand in it and just start making etchings in the dirt uh, but before anybody can come over to him he'll, he'll wipe it away quickly alright well a couple of you saw what he was doing so I was going to be like yo what what you doing sorry I got I got dazed for a moment you got dazed. That that bite was more than just a bite. Yeah. Have you yeah, tried that was, not that was a getting war. bitten? Excuse what? me. Have you tried a, not getting bitten? Jen what, will say. What? What? What is a werewolf? I think it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's 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 a curse similar to mine. What? I, 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 I'm a were bear. Like I've, you've seen him transform before. Oh, I thought you were a druid. <laughs> no, 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 no. So it started with you were at this haunted manor and he helped give birth to a were raven. <laughs> and they were so grateful that he has to become a were bear and they transformed to a were. So now, like, every 30 days, he has to, like, get chained up to make sure he doesn't attack us. Pretty hot. Right, we, I see. Eh. we got like leather bondage gear and we put a ball gag in his mm. mouth. We just carry it around with us all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, it's, no, he's like, to... so, so do you have like. So what should two? we do about this, this wear bore bite? You're... 
Not looking so good. Yeah, I'd say he's probably sweating profusely. Well, like, he's like flexing I his know. arm. I feel like his veins are like protruding a bit. Well, Narcrawl, you're a cleric. You know one spell that can remove the Werebore curse. I do. Question is, does he want to? He doesn't. Is he going to try to like collect them all, like Pokemon? Right? That's what I was thinking. Well, unlike the Werebear, where it's a 50 50 shot, if he turns to a Werebear, he will straight up attack you. I now, mean... what determines that? Uh, Werebear's alignment. Oh, no, but like a roll? Yeah, a roll. Oh, and that includes bonus actioning into your hybrid form. Mm -hmm. So every time you go bonus action, Werebear, I'm going to like, haha, roll the dice. Is it the werebore or is it the werebear? Now it's a luck of a die. This is quite the fucking hooky tree. All right. Welcome to level eight, bitch. Well, hey, Narco is swaying profusely, but uh, he'll dab his face off with a rag. As Narco sweats profusely. The argument in his mind, does he keep both his curses or lose both his curses? Wait, wait. You're cursed? Is that a curse curse thing curse? Like he if he casts cure curse on him, he loses both of them? How does that work? Read the first line of remove curse. Yeah. Well, maybe this tree can help us. Come on, buddy. Yeah. And Jen will bend over and try to assist Narcrawl back up to his feet. Jen lowers his metallic frame and helps his furball companion up. Yeah, he'll get to his feet. He's fine. He's fine. He's, uh... Coming to terms with it. We got you, buddy. Physically. Gonna raise a hand for a high five. Oh, yeah. Heartfelt high five. Yes. So it's, so it's gonna be like, oh, well, it's gonna take a couple of hours, so, like, let's get moving. Let's Lead get the rolling. way, drunkie. Uh, I like you. The Satas continue to escort the high five to the great tree. Okay, yo, that stairs is getting annoying. What is? What's that? It's the narrator! Yeah. I mean... We really can't help it. And we're in a book, so I kind of like it. Uh, I enjoy reading, though. But I like listening to people read to us as well. And Jen is still yeah, scribbling yeah, down Je everything that's said. Yeah, yeah, I like that, too. Just add again. Imagine there was, like, a company that could sponsor us. <laughs> You know, I don't want to call. An, I don't want to call an audible, guys. But ah. out of all the things that we've came across, this is the odd thing to you. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I mean, Jen says. I, I mean, Ruckus. it makes sense to me. We, I mean, not... we played human. You, we played human chess. So, Ruck does not like this. That this is not natural at all. Edith wants to kind of like, uh, she, she's like, oh, I, uh, I've been working on something and she wants to let go of like a little bird and it's going to kind of fly up. It's metallic, kind of looks like a ship with two little wings sticking off of and it's got fan blades pushing it, kind of like a drone. Mm -hmm. As you guys are walking and talking through the wood. I need Edith to roll me a d10. Sure. That's what it looks like, Jar. Curious. Uh, d10, d10. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, I got that token set up. 10. 10 again. <clears throat> As the high five, along with the satyr drunks, walk, 
you see a nearby tree bleeding golden sap. Huh? Is, th is this the tree? So let's go. Nah, nah, nah. This is just a regular tree. The tree we're gonna see is like way huger than. Well, your Which trees. Was the golden sap. Yeah. What? He's gonna. She's gonna point to the golden sap. Uh, what's with that? Yeah. Um. Ruckus gonna, gonna, gonna get a a pokey pokey piece of paper and, and poke it from a distance. He just gonna yeah. hand him a ten foot pole. <laughs> uh -huh. And he can poke it with this. Alright. Gruck, Gruck gets to the end of the pole and pokes at the sap. Okay. It looks like golden sap. Does it stick to the end of the it Stick. does. It, it's vis it, it's viscous. Rock Almost says, retreats uh, from the tree with the pokey stick. No, and... viscous, like maple syrupy. Yeah, Gruck, Gruck, Gruck backs away with the sample on the end of his pokey stick and then looks at, oh. looks at it closer. Uh huh. Looks at it, smells it. Looks it. <laughs> Do you yeah. want to? Uh, do you want to make a nature or survival check? Sure, I'll roll survival. Uh, this sap has, as soon as you lick it, you feel like it's this warm, buttery, great flavor. Suddenly, like, your enzymes are like, woo, that's nice. You realize this sap has healing properties. Alright. I will... Well, I will go to the tree and, uh... Try and collect a jar of it. Alright. Uh, you collect enough for four. Uh, hang on one second. Let me look up something really quick. <laughs> Not that. Uh, as you collect the sap, um, you basically just collected four potions of healing. What? But in sap form. Like a salve. Yep. Uh, each dose, uh, each dose, as um, for four doses, in each uh, dose, uh, anyone who consumes the sap regains 2d4 plus two hit points. The tree has enough for four doses, so once those four run out, whoosh, gone. That's good to have. Checking every tree from now on. <laughs> All right. Brock, um, passes them out to the rest of the party. All right. Uh, so H1 can add uh, a potion of healing. Wait, there's five of you. So are you not keeping one? No, you keep it. Not no, fine. All right. All right. So everyone gets a potion of healing besides not crawl. Are you sure, Narco? Yeah. Yeah. I got my healing. I got my ways. All right. Unless you're insist stocked. What? Yeah, if you're stocked, then yeah, I'll take it. I don't... I guess I don't have one. Well, you should definitely have a healing potion on yourself. If not for yourself, and then, you know, maybe a teammate nearby. I have a scroll of healing word, which is maybe better. Yeah, that's at distance, right? Yeah. 
and it's a bonus set. yeah but that's a one and done spell scroll so it's like done psh, scroll burns well i mean i know healing word straight up too yeah i know do you have do you have a potion on you narkel i think i had like one to be honest Edith has one, which would be the current one we have. All right. One. Three up. Three up. I'll take it. I take it. Yeah, I have one. I always forget to look at my backpack. Occasionally I put shit in there. Oh. But yeah, I'm stocked on healing spells. I have one potion. I'll keep a potion. And I've got abilities. Um, can Gruck kind of try to repair the sap leak on the tree? Sure. Make me a nature check. I will help with that. Are you proficient in nature? No, but I have advantage. No way. How do you have advantage on nature? Uh, things that happen to level, level 8. Okay. Gruck asks Snarkle to help the tree. Okay. Yeah, you pretty much try to heal the tree up the best of your abilities, and you see it's going. He's going to put two hands in front of his chest, I guess, a tree. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that purple and green magic will swirl around and go into the tree. Okay. So after you're done healing the tree up, the stairs will be like, come on, man, we're almost there. Huh. All right. We follow. Gruck follows anyway. All right. So you guys walk. Then you hear the voice in the sky again. As the dragonborn and the fireball healed the tree, they are once again... Being escorted by the Satas to see the great tree. And you guys are walking, and Grook, roll me a d10. Alright, uh, the last hour, nothing happens. Uh, what about werebats? Come on. No, you already did werebats. Fly, motherfucker. All right. Big, <laughs> big man. And... All right. The tree. After, all right, and you hear this. After being guided by the Satas through several miles of the forest. The protagonists ascend a gentle slope as they come upon a break in the foliage. From this elevated vantage, they behold an impressive sight. A circular clearing beneath and around the canopy of gigantic maple tree. This is Palvath Plateau, a hidden sanctuary for creatures of Narthus Realm. Before you... And as I change maps. Yeah. Do 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 do. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. Yep. I'm Big sorry guys for me talking to my son earlier. Yeah. Before you stands a maple tree of impossibly large size in the center of an opening area. Nearly one hundred feet in diameter. Shafts of light cut through the leafy canopy overhead and reflect off the thin streams of water that trickle along in between the tree's gnarled thick roots. Roots. Ugh. 
uh, as you approach the trunk of the tree, the satyrs gamble ahead of you, elated to be back in their safe haven. Suddenly, the tree seems to come awake and gives off a guttural noise, and then it speaks. Pardon my rudeness for being asleep, it says. It's been a long time since I've seen a traveler's like you in these parts. And I need Grook to make me a nature check. Why is nature in? I know. Why is animal handling with... Eh, you have no idea. Oh. Okay, oh, yeah, I should introduce. Like this? I swear to God, if you put Tree Beard or the Great Dooku Tree, I'm going to slap you. Nope. Like he's got a beard. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is AVIF? This is... Oh, hey, hey. This is Fedor. He's, he's this huge tree person who keeps it safe from danger. All right, uh, uh, we're we're gonna go get drunk. Was they go get drunk over there? Harold. I hey. Bye. Gentle look at Narcrawl and like gesture toward the tree. What? Yeah. Okay. First. I I I I apologize for the satyr's behavior. They're a wild bunch. They are, and Edith's gonna kind of come up and. This is an ancient being, mm -hmm. and she's gonna kind of like place her hand on one of the trunks, and she says, "Thank you for protecting us." Yes, I'm sure you are grateful, as they are grateful for you. They have forgotten that manners. May I ask what are you doing in the plateau? We no idea. We are sucked into a book. A book. <laughs> and you see as he laughs, he sees he sees his branch ruffles. Uh. The lore of Lurel. Lura, you this book? I have not heard of this book. Do you know what a Laurel is? Is it a place, a person, an item? I don't know. Are, are you Laurel? I am Fanor. Okay. The f he like closes his eyes for a second. Are you in pain? The pool of eternal spring is being sullied, tainted by bloodlust. Bloodlust of what? I don't know. But it needs cleansing. Nature needs to be in balance. Where is this pool? Go to the right, you'll find the pixie and sprite village of Dewlight. Find a sprite named Wheel Dolly. They may be able to assist you. Edith tells them, she's like, be careful with pixies, they're not to be trusted. Oh, Jen knows all about that. Yep. Huh. First the reward. You. And you see one of his branches goes down and points. Right at Grook. Come. Closer, Dragonborn. Hmm. 
Rex is going to cautiously approach him. I sense a foresting heart of juridic nature. Am I not wrong? I, I am a druid of the moon. I do not see a moon it, here, though. It, it doesn't matter. A druid's a druid, no matter what flavor you take. I switched my conversation to druidic to make sure he knows what the hell he's talking about. He is speaking druidic. Okay. I um asked for the bag of holding and put my generic shield in there. Alright. Thank you. We will make haste to the pools and see what we can do. Hurry. And he goes back to sleep. Okay. All right. After acquiring knowledge from Feanor, the party departs with the goat-like humanoids and travel to the pixie sprite village of Dulight. Chapter 2. Do light. All right, as you guys go walking, you see that a narrow path leads north from Palvarf Plateau. When they way between densely packed trees less than an hour after setting out, uh, the characters reach their next stop. Moss covered trees and overgrown brush suddenly thin out and giving away to a small glen not more than a hundred feet across. The area is peppered with colorful mushrooms growing virtually on top of one another, some of the clusters more than three feet high. A warm glow emanates from tiny lanterns that hang from each mushroom. Judging from the caps of the mushrooms, chimneys made of petrified bark let out a wisp of acorn-scented smoke. These mushrooms appear to be homes, dozens of them scattered around the clearing. Moments before uh, the characters emerge from the forest, the pixies and sprite that live in Dulé detect their approach. And... They all turn invisible, but then you see an elderly sprite. <laughs> Greetings, big folk. I will daddy welcome you to do light. Now go away. Oh, You're well. here to well, help. hang on, hang on. Also, sign time for some official book artwork. We were sent by the great tree on a mission. The great tree sent you? Yes. Hmm. Those were sent by Feynor. All right. Huh. He, like, ponders to himself. Hmm. And what mission is that? Feynor tells us that pools are being corrupted. Lighted? I don't remember the word he used. Corrupted, Let's you were right the first corrupted. time. Sullied is the word he used. Ah. 
Anyway. The bladed sound cool. Baynard was saying that the pools were being corrupted and blighted and asked for help. He didn't know the nature of of the blight, but he called to the moon circle for aid. Moon circle? Yes. Huh. He introduces himself in druidic. What is that language you're speaking? Brock whispers to him telepathically, tel telepathically and says druidic to him. I don't understand this druidic. Well. I don't know how else to show you that I am of the moon circle. Brock will... Oh. Rock explains to him how moon druids tend to take powerful wild shapes and fight as beasts. Beasts? Yep. There be no beasts here. Why? Because it's forbidden. By whom? Melo. Is Melor the evil unicorn? No. He's the beast lord. He's evil. Well, he seems like he needs to be dealt with. There's beasts I through all the wilds. Somebody to give me a religion check. That's not me. Well, that's not me. That just sounds like it's a cleric thing. Oh, and I have advantage. Gonna 21. Have guidance. My name is Mark. well. Biari rolled a twenty-one, so. Mm -hmm. uh, the Beast Lord is a deity, uh, um, known by the um, symbol of a clawed paw. Uh, he usually represents uh, evil hunters, as in like poachers or killing for the sake of killing. Or overkills, or what have you. He goes by many names, such as the Beast Lord, the Great Beast, the Beast of Beast, the Blood God, the Black Blooded One, the Wild Hunter, and the Master of the Hunt. Okay. He is usually worshipped by orcs, or. Yeah, orcs are usually his go to worship. Uh, he, despite being revered as the Hunter, Things beasts among druid circles. However, he despises uh, the balance of nature, as in, I hunt you to the ends of the earth. Uh, this will not end until you die. Uh, his philosophy is it is every the way of nature that the strongest should. So think of it as Beast Lord is playing uh, the world's deadliest game every day, all day. Yeah, so I'll you relate said his to that. name is Malar, right? Malar, A L A R. Hmm. I'll say, yeah, he's 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 the worst kind of hunter. He just hunts. In fact, it is known that uh, the people who worship hunters, the first task in order to get into the world of Malar, is to kill an innocent, as in hunt an innocent. Hmm. Yeah. He's a major god then. He is a minor deity, but a lot, but just like other minor deities, powerful too. Huh. Kind of a dick. Okay. Kind of uh, uh, I think Craven from Spider-Man. All right. Well, 
I impress upon this Fey again that we must get to the pools and cleanse them as soon as possible. Why? I mean, the, 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 we've had disturbances to the north. We, 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 we believe that it is the, we believe that Melor has sent his evil minions out. He has corrupted the once sworn unicorn to be evil. So is that to the north? Uh, he shuts up. It could be related. It certainly could be. Malo's cultist minions are behind the corruption, I believe, though I do not know. Well, one problem at a time. Let's, Thunders. Let's first address the pools. Thunders and thunderstorms are brewing. The drums of the hunt. Can we hear drums? Hear no drums or thunder. Dot dot dot. Yet. Dot dot dot. So. Does his, his minions attack your village? No, 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 no. They, they do not attack the village. We just hide from them so they don't hunt us. Oh. Well, if we found your village, they could probably find your village pretty easily. It looks gives you a confused look. But we hide. Well, we can take care of that problem altogether. Now, hurry along down the webbed path. Danger along the way. Might impede your travel. No time to waste. Any turns invisible. Alrighty. We'll be well, back. We'll be back, I guess. Uh, Edith wants to send her little drone ahead of us, mm -hmm. scouting. All right. Staying about, you know. So is the drone like scouting? Yeah, just gonna scout as we walk as a uh, we walk ahead. All right. Like how many feet? Wait, well, hang on. How many feet ahead of you? Two hundred and forty feet ahead of us, scouting. Forty feet. It goes about 20 feet, and the drone gets smashed back into your chest. And there it goes. It is not proper to look ahead in the story. <laughs> it said it gets about 20 feet away from us. It gets about 20 feet away from you, and the magical of this book basically ricochets the drone right back into your chest. And he goes, like, no reading ahead, basically. Uh, so the drone goes 19 and a half feet ahead of us. Yeah, that's... I mean, 19 and a half feet, that's something. But no more than 20, so it's like four squares. All right, All so right. it's going to still fly out ahead of us 20 feet. It's maximum range. Do we, mm -hmm. do we think these... It's we basically these... if you... It's basically if you got, like, the half-blood prince, the, the half prince, and you just skip to the chapter that says, oh, Dumbledore. And it's like, well... That's not the story. <laughs> Do you think these cultists are close? Should we try to surprise them? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like this book is, is written and we're kind of following along with what's being written. I can't tell if we're writing it we're just following the path before path. us so yeah i'm not sure if we can change anything i would just be ready jen says quizzically <laughs> i don't know ruck is not convinced he's gonna Tell the party to gather round. 
It stands around the druid. That's, what and are we he's... doing? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Sidebar. <laughs> Sidebar? What? The high five decides to huddle and plan. Yeah. <laughs> Druck cast pass without trace on the party and decides to sneak down the road. Take point. The dragonborn has, does a stealth spell on the high five. Oh, so we're sneaking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Big time. All right. Well, <laughs> I know what you're uh, well, he, he, he's going to be sneaking along this, then. Because <laughs> he told you about the wet path. <laughs> and Edith send the drone up here. Uh, yep, I don't have a token for it yet, because you just created it. No worries. Edith wants to send the drone up. Alright. And let me read... This? The pebble path leading out of Dwilight, uh, Dwilight, Dewlight, soon turns into dirt and the area on either side <gasps> is sparsely covered with underbrush. After the characters walk for a few more minutes, they discover that the road ahead is covered in large patches of spiderweb. The web path is 20 feet wide and 60 feet long. It is difficult terrain. Um, as we're stealthing up, um, Brooke begins looking for spiders. Uh, roll perception. Your passive, unfortunately, won't be enough. You don't see. There's a lot of webs. You may or may not see one. You don't know. I will also be percepting. Where's my drone see up ahead? Yep. Shit! It's gonna, it wants to fly up to these little things and check them out. Where's your drone flying? Mm, it's gonna come up here, check out this, and then fly over here. It's silent when it's flying. Because wait, wait, how do you fly? There. The drone flies. Alright, so the drone just sees webs. It doesn't see any. Nope. Creatures hiding behind these rocks? Nope. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm gonna park the drone here and let it alert us if, if it sees anything and let's start moving forward. Clever. We try to sneak through the webs. So, who is crossing these webs? Jen. Edith's a little lighter on her feet. Sh sh she'll, uh,. She's going to ask for the jump spell to be cast on her. Actually, she'll actually cast the jump spell on herself. And she's going to jump all the way across here. All right, one at a time. Jen, you first. How are you crossing? Uh, just walking across, walking through, walking under, trying to weave through. All right, uh, Jen. Through. I need Jen. Either roll me athletics or acrobatics. We'll do some athletics. Eighteen. You successfully walk across. Oh shit! All the way. Excuse me. I'm God. There you go. Edith wants uh, to jump to here. Jump to here. It's the uh, roll acrobatics with advantage. It's, it's literally just, I cast jump on myself. You still got a rope because there's webs on top. Uh, okay. With advantage. Yep, you successfully go to where Jen is. Awesome. Alright, who's next? Who's the third one? Uh, sure. The pass of that trace isn't helping us here, is it? No, it is not. Uh, okay, she. Um. Uh. 
Uh, just athletics. Yeah, athletics or acrobatics. Successfully move across the web. All right, now, who's next? Can Narcrow make a survival check to know if burning these webs with a torch would set off the vibrations? In I mean, you certainly can try. Because I, I, I think he knows enough to know that that's how this works. But he doesn't know if this would work. You do not know. <laughs> Still don't know. Do it. Advantage and everything. I mean, YOLO. Like, in my mind, as Chris, a person, not metagaming, that makes sense, right? There's no vibration. Makes uh, sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I approve. Does that translate I, to D&D? &D, I, I don't know. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to say no, because you are playing the character. Okay, is it stealth check? Or it's acrobatics or it's acrobatics or athletics. I'm not great in either of those. Uh, I tell Lenore to You mean help the 400 what? Can Lenore would have nope, cuz Lenore would have to make off or acrobatics too to see if she can avoid the web. Okay. Mm. Even if she just flies over there. Yeah, I I literally told you what the web's on top. Just because you're a familiar does not mean you're invisible. <laughs> yeah, Narcro doesn't have a lot of confidence. He's going to acrobatics through here. <laughs> oh, go he ahead. lights a torch and holds it to the first mass of webs in front of him. Okay. It is preps in action. <laughs> Lenora is going to try to fly away. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Lenore gets stuck. Lenore is not restrained. <laughs> oh god, she's gonna be set on fire. Yeah, by because... Narcrow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't Ivan this time. That's I true. Tell. That's true. All right, so we're just crossing the wit, like through the web. Well, well, well let 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 Narcrow go first. First. Oh, okay, <sighs> okay. Of course, the bird is flapping around in the webs, and probably not good anyway. Uh, did you make athletics or acrobatics? I'm burning the web. Yeah, he's just burning the webs as we go through. Alright, you burn the webs. So... That's why I'm not action ready. And... Narcro, roll, no, no. roll me a... Narcro, roll me a d4. Ooh. You burnt the web. Place is gonna cook up like a candle. <laughs> the whole place is about to burn to the ground. No, it's a one. Well, you start a fire in front of you. <laughs> oh god. So DC's gonna be higher. <laughs> oh god. And DC's I still have acrobatics. To athletics or acrobatics? Is this web starting to catch on fire? So this is not your run-of-the-mill web. It's a, a, you don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, acrobatics. Uh. -huh. He's in a fucking parkour. Oh, God, parkour. I'm gonna die. Does Edith's yeah. drone see anything <laughs> moving over here? Nope. <laughs> so Narco, you make it to about here parkour. and. You will take Parkour. a lot of damage. Uh, you will take okay, one point of fire damage, but you are on fire. Six, gonna, five, gonna... four, three, two, one. Knock off, take another point of fire damage. Yeah, no, I move. Sorry. Yeah, you still got to roll athletics and acrobatics. Ruck's going to cast Thorn Whip. On Narkel and, and try to drag him out of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God. so you make it to about here. Take another point of fire damage. <laughs> okay. I've had myself. Can I do up. that? I stopped up roll. 
You stop, drop, roll? Okay. Well, <laughs> you're just... technically prone now. And you are now engulfed in the web. You, Narco, you are restrained. <laughs> but no, <laughs> look at the good news. You're no longer on fire. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no longer <laughs> Uh, stop, Rob. This is going on. Words. Narcrawl fighting with this web is the funniest shit ever right now. <laughs> Stumbling back and forth. You know what's even funnier? The fire spreading. No, that's not funny. Oh, fuck. That mean Lenore can try to get out now? I mean, she's gonna have to roll another strength for athletics. Nah, still restrained. I don't have like cast. Juice water. <clears throat> Ivan, what are you doing? In fact, what are you all doing? As the fire spreads. Ivan, Ivan is just staring at the whole thing in comedic amazement. How much like, fuel, he is... How much fuel is there here? Like, could these webs just burn themselves out after a minute? Yeah, it is a lot of webs. Um. Okay, so Ivan is going to try to attempt to maneuver through the web in the fire mm -hmm. as, you know, <laughs> he's going to do like a, like a, like a, like a, what do you call it? Like how spies try to get through like the lasers and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. to try to eat, so you're going to try to eat and hunt this shit? All right, roll athletics. All right, uh, roll athletics or acrobatics. I acrobatics. Okay, let's do acrobatics. <sighs> okay, not bad, not bad. You somehow managed to side flip the fire and land right near. Well, you guys better hurry because. Fire it's starting to spread more. Uh, he's running. He's running towards the rest of the group. <laughs> right now, like is, is this so, right so now. fuck nar is this so fuck narco? <laughs> narco, do you need help? Do you need help? Uh, well, he's restrained. <laughs> can I make a strength saving throw or something? You can try to make a strength saving throw to get out of the restrain. Can I assist him? Uh, oh, uh, not yeah, no, he's oh. still restrained. I'm so restrained. Even with the assist, it's still a 3-4. Gru Grux right. gonna, um, Grux's gonna, like, thorn whip Narkal and try to drag him away from the fire. Uh, right. I was gonna use, uh, Absorb Elements. Did my... <laughs> absorb oh, spider webs? Oh. Not nah, the fire. Did, did my... oh, you're oh, fucked yeah, on the spider yeah, web. Yeah yeah, 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 you're fucked on the web, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did my 10-foot yeah, pole please. help Lenore out? Uh, Lenore's, like, right here. What do I, what do I need to do to... Him. I need to uh... I put out the fire with the with absorb elements. You can put out some of the fire with absorb elements. Okay, just the fire that's around or in on uh Narcrawl. That's it. Okay. You somehow calm some of the fire, but it's still raging. Alright. Come on. Come on. Let's let's let's, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright. We no, no, no idea what to do here. Alright, so Grok, trying, you, you, trying you, to pull him out with the thorns. He's gonna uh, send her drone to go get Lenore out. Alright. Uh, well, first of all, because Grok said like four times, Grok, thorn whip? Oh. Yeah, and drag him free. Okay. So Alright. Just straight up attack him? Is like AC? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> thorn whip! Alright. You have Let's advantage. Have advantage. <laughs> Yeah. Boom. Does does a nineteen hit Narcrawl? <laughs> now would my shield apply right now? I mean, Wait. you're not trying to block it though. You're. I'm you're not trying, trying to block to it. it. You're restrained. What shield? You're tied up. <laughs> yeah. So. There you go. <laughs> yeah. My AC is nineteen, but we take away plus two for the shield. Well, nineteen would hit you anyway. Yeah. Meets it. Beats it. That's right. Yeah. Right. 19, so you take 6 piercing. And it's magical piercing. I'm okay with that. And I tell everybody right. to grab a hold of the vine and pull really hard. I hold the vine. Ah. 
All right, uh, ah. Ivan. It's yes. Starting to spread. It's starting to spread. Oh, I'm on the vine. I grabbed the vine. You grab the vine. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you guys successfully. What the hell? Sorry, what's is being weird? Hang on. Hey, nice. successfully make weird. your way out of the spider web. Can Can Gruck look over the edge here and see if the spiders are just like laughing at us? Yeah. <laughs> I just look at yeah. Narcro and just shake my head and 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 uh I just shake my head. Yeah, it was wasn't my best moment. <clears throat> uh, and you guys successfully make your way across the spidered webbed path. Did Did really? we get Lenore? Out? Nope. No, I was, still no, there. no, no, no. I, I set my drone to go help it out. My drone's tiny. It can make its way through there. It can go up and down. It's and still, left it's, and right. it's it, uh, it doesn't matter. Me. It's it's still a wedge path. The drone still needs to make acrobatics and athletics. Same That's thing it. I would do for Ivan's arcane cannon. Well, this Thank God I didn't tiny. tiny? Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, Lenore's tiny. And she Lenore got stuck. Is tiny. Okay, so let's let's fly. I'm gonna go send it. So it's. A D20. Can, can Grux see any spiders from like here? <laughs> oh, world, world perception. Yeah, no, and now the drone's stuck. Nope. It rolled a ten. And the drone's stuck. <laughs> All right, Edis is gonna jump over there and grab Lenore and the drone, and then jump back. And jump. Back. All right. Roll acrobatics with Nat advantage. Twenty. Now twenty. All right, you grab it, and you hop back and grab Lenore and the drone. And uh, I'm gonna kind of dust them off, and then, uh, you know, set them mm -hmm. back flying. Yeah, and Grick, you see nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh -huh. I feel like if they were going to come, they'd they be here right now. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if they're laughing spiders, though. We set off every alarm bell they have available. <laughs> Ruck's going to, uh, for the hell of it, uh, produce God. flame a few times. I want to, like... Finish burning out these webs for when we come <laughs> when we come back. So he's just gonna cast produce flame, you know. You, just everywhere. Less yeah, gonna, spots. yeah, just gonna burn it out. I mean, we already got a fire going. You know, just gonna help a little bit. Okay, and you slowly but surely burn all the webs. It takes about a couple minutes, but the, all the webs are burnt. Okay, Grux satisfied now. Falls to the ground from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> On fire. <laughs> what does that sign? Hey, what does whispering deaths mean? I don't know. <laughs> no one got that BG. Th oh, fuck you guys. That was an amazing ball. Game. Croc does apologize to Narco for the uh, pokey rope there. As the high five successfully crossed the spiderweb's I, I, I path. Thank you for your help. <laughs> the journey on to the corrupted pool. Oh. I thought we were going to go stop some unicorn thing. This was the first mission. Let's stick to this one. No, 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 no. The corrupted pool corrupted. is on the way. Solid, corrupted, same thing. Okay. The character's path takes them into a densely forested area by following a break in the trees that sends them north and west. Then they cut upon a sign that this area is inhabited. We, um... Hi. Brock never did stop cast concentrating on Pass Without Trace, so... He motions to the party to sneak as much as they can. I'm gonna say you have about five minutes left on that spell, though. Okay. So like all the web hoobla. Sure. Alright. Check out this village. Uh, gnarled bushes and dead or diseased trees surround a run-down wooden shack. A wisp of smoke rises from a rotted-out hole, a roof that is lined with fungus, 
South of the shack is a low stone wall that forms the perimeter of a large hole. While east of the building, a large wooden structure covered with creeping vines. As you come a bit closer, the sound of voices suddenly emerge from the shack. One occupant cackles wickedly, and the two other voices emit muffled whimpers and groans. Uh, I'm gonna send my drone to go check out whatever this area is. Which one? That one? Alright. So you send your drone? I need a stealth check on the drone. We, do we have passed out trace on still? You guys have passed about trace. The drone does not. It is not technically a creature. Okay. Lenore is going to go to the opposite building and do the same thing. It's. I did cast it on Lenore. Yeah. You cast it, it on it Lenore. You didn't cast it on the drone. It was with me. Like him. My bed. Okay. Sh sure. Uh, they rolled a 16. All right, he is successfully as wait, what? What's going on? I think he's sending Lenore to go check out this area. All right, yeah. So, Lenore checks out the area. There is a locked door, <laughs> and the rest is just wood with no openings. So what's over here, then? Over here. As the drone. It flies high. Like, it's up in I mean, the air. It, I mean, it does see the... It does see a... Uh, hmm, let me see. As long as this was within it's, 240 feet of me, it's fine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, You see a door, but no windows. And a chimney. I don't see anything. The map's still kind of blacked out. That's the point. You're not supposed to see it. Okay, I see a door with chimneys. Does it smoke coming out of the, the chimney? Uh, yep. Alright, I'm going to lower the drone in down through the chimney. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Brock is gonna motion for the party to uh Question, can you see for the drone's eyes? I don't really know how that works. I'm gonna say no. But technically it's not I have familiar. a connection with it. It's it is supposed to function just like a familiar does. Uh, okay. I feel like that's Weird. It needs to be you weird rewritten, but did you okay, say there whatever. Were windows? There are no windows. It's just wall, 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 door. Can Lenore go to the top of the chimney? Kind of look down and then be able to see through Lenore's eyes? Uh, you can certainly try. Rock is going to motion for the party to stand outside the door, which I'm not sure where it is, and ready some attacks. Yeah. All right, so are you guys going down the uh, who's going down the chimney? The drone or Lenore? Just it's just the drone. It doesn't need to breathe. It's a construct. Mhm. Mm and I can see through it. It's eyes. Oh, then it's never mind. Lenore's busted. not going to then. Yeah, I would say Lenore would have disadvantage because unlike the drone, Lenore actually has eyes, and that smoke will blind her. Mm. It's just like a camera on it. All right, so you send the uh, Amazon drone down the chimney. Uh, it's basically an Amazon drone. Amazon drone. Um, you guys you have this? We you do. Ha ha ha, Cand is behind the time. Um, uh, inside of the shack is in a terrible state of disrepair. The only contents of note are a ramshackle bed, a scratched up table, a warped wooden shelf with several containers on it, and a fireplace with wooden spoons and ladles hanging from hooks above it. To your left, two figures are bound and gagged on the floor while a blue-skinned, can't tell you, uh, looms over them. 
The captives appear to be can't tell you until. However, Edith, you're a fae. So I need you to roll me a either a history check or a nature check. Um, both are about both are the same. So history. I I don't. Know. You do not know any of these creatures. There's a bunch of peoples in there, and they got somebody captured. It's we... two. It's two people who are bound and gag. One person is not. Uh, do y'all want to kick the door down, Recon? We can stack on the door and open up. This is the police. <laughs> open up. <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do y'all want to do? Or we, or we could just knock. I think yeah, we should but... try to knock. Yeah, let's let's knock and be like, try to trick them outside. Just because we saw somebody tied up, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It could be consensual. Or, or it could be good guys captured bad guys. Uh, two figures are bound and gagged on the floor. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't think this is consensual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's consensual. Yeah, but I, I mean, if you know, Gruff captured I, bandits, that's probably what he'd do to them. Well, let's interfere and then find out afterwards. Yes. Oh, okay. E e Edith is uh, Edith's ready to <laughs> throw rounds down range. It's like she first asked questions. Should we look in the other hut before we kick in the door? Ah, that's an excellent idea. I can send the drone over there to check out the other place. Unfortunately, that has no openings but the one door. and relays right. that it's locked. Let's kick the door down. I never said it was locked. You said it was locked when Lenore was looking. Locked door. Did... Let me double check. I could have sworn I didn't see. Uh, self of the shack is a lone star wall. Hang on one second. Let me, let me, let me read this. Hang on one second. We're not gonna wait for you to get it on your own. The high five gonna deliver to you. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real. Anybody, exactly. Does anybody, does anybody in the party know knock? I never, I never mentioned it was locked. Okay, I, well. <laughs> knock was gonna say, if I, I did, I'm sorry, but I could have sworn I didn't say anything about being, being locked. So good. Uh, we should just open say, the door and go. I know in. knock. Okay. Let's bless you. Oh. Cast yeah. guidance on one. Do you yeah. want a known shed or known shed? Known shed. Known shed. Yeah. Edith's got the gun ready. She's clocked. She's locked, cocked, and ready to rock. I want to kick the door in. That was nice. There um, we go. I'm gonna pull. I want to pull my gun out too, just so yeah. we can look. Look crazy. fat ass. Funny. Yeah, Loki. Let's bust in. <laughs> Let's bust in, run in there, and run their pockets on them. Yeah. Run their pockets, yeah. bitch. Hey, you, run them pockets, bitch. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> run that shit. No, I'm joking. I'm sorry. He, he is down to do that. Let's do it. I'm down. Let's do this it. Is, the, the, this is... This is... All right, gonna, so, so when the so, knock spell so, goes off, we're just bursting in and you know having our guns drawn on him. It can't be as bad as the elephant. Let's, let's go. I got, I'm Ivan's holding up his 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 uh rifle like 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 policemen hold the uh, twelve gauge. Uh. Hey man, you gotta hold it sideways. <laughs> now you know he's holding it up like you know like I like I level. You know what I'm saying? You know working. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get hit in the face by a buttstock. Mm -hmm. So is it so this building, we... or is it this building? 
it, it's this building is where you hear okay. the, 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 is where you see the bound right. gag people with a blue skin person what I happens mean, when we burst through the door does the person like be surprised for like you know oh they we should have a really we should yeah. have a really dope phrase like high five motherfuckers Run the yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a very confusing phrase. <laughs> like, like, high five, bitch. Yeah, high five, bitch. Yeah, that's we're gonna kick the door down yeah, and say yeah, high five, yeah. bitch. All right, <laughs> Ivan's Ivan's gonna hold the handle and he's gonna whisper on three, one, two, three. And we're going five, through. Bitch. Oh, okay. High yeah, five, bitch. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. we're going through. So. So Before, just one door. Preach. Just preach, one door. Preach. It's a single door. So Ivan, it's the high five, in, bitch. so uh, Ivan, as you're about to lay low, see uh, this creature hide behind the, basically take up the two planted creature and is using them and she is using them as a human shield. All right, let's all relax. Okay. No, I don't think we are. Uh... Edith, Edith is gonna just straight pop off her rounds at him. She's dumping her full load into him. She's using these creatures as shields. It is a good shot. They're behind, she's behind cover. I have to shoot spells, so I'm gonna hold my shot. <laughs> <laughs> I have sharpshooter. I, I ignore three quarters cover. That is not three quarters cover. <laughs> that uh, is so full on. Full body shield. Well, I mean, that'd still be three quarters. Nah, no, no, see. So full you're so even so like three covers. This is full cover. Well, then that means they could. I couldn't shoot her. Period. Raw rules, at least. Yeah. Because I mean, we burst through the door. It's got to scare her. There's no way she moved in time. They're also. You said they're prone on the ground. How do you know she didn't pick them up? How do you know she didn't roll a crit for perception for hearing? Ooh. We, were we did we did kind of like practice our bust in like super loud. We practice our, our catchphrase too many times. That's a ridiculous idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I mean, I, I'm as soon as she gives me a her head, I'm shooting it. Shoot a hostage in the foot. <laughs> All right, I'm just, I'm, what the well, fuck before you, sh but before, before you go, but before you go, do you you go dog day after? Uh, Grook, roll me nature. Okay. Oh, uh, guidance. Yeah, I mean, okay. First of all, you have to touch him. I'm, I touch him inappropriately. I guess yeah, well, no. was it consensual? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Consent, <laughs> please. <laughs> all right, all right. And I think one of those like cats right. in the bum. You get let's there. just blow this chick. Let's just blow this chick up really quick. There you go. Oh, it's a witch. She's yeah. definitely getting shot in the face. She looks evil. There's so. no way she's got. Ah, uh, uh, none of you know it. <laughs> Know what? I'm holding. I'm holding my. You gun know. Up. You know nothing about this creature. No, I'm holding the gun up and I'm going and I'm telling her, drop the creatures. We Why? will shoot. Like we know Don't she you want to negotiate for the hostages? No. Um. No. I'm gonna just, lean. Just, I'm gonna lean towards she sees the shot. She's shooting. I'm gonna lean towards Edith and go. What are those things? It's dead. That's what it is. You're kind of out here. Do you wanna? Ivan, Ivan the... looks at Edith with a very intimidated expression, and he's gonna lean toward the cook and go, "What are those things?" I don't think Crook knows with a twelve. You don't know with twelve. Listen here, lady. Uh huh. I'm gonna shoot if you don't let those things down. But why? They're so good. I use the lead. You're eating the. I mean, right. y y I mean, I'd like to eat you too. You're so sexy. All right, Grux had enough of this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Grux gonna grab. Yeah, Grux yeah, gonna lash out with a thorn <laughs> to one of the things she has tied up and drag it out from in front of her. 
And okay, as soon uh, as that happens, she shoots Edith Mrs. firing Dow. rounds off. She can't... She Wait, no, 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 no. She's got to be able to see Misty Step, where she's going. Uh, you guys let the door open. We're yeah, standing she, in it. We're standing... She's got to be able to see. She can't she's, go here. No. She can go I mean, here. She, she, okay, let me read the rules of Misty Step. As long as there's an opening, I can Misty Step. You teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. And it's going to use I'm Step of the Wind and upset. just sprint. Yeah. Oh, God, She's not getting away. No. And like uh, Bobby Boucher tackler. It says, yeah, that you can see. And a, a, a 30 sp a sp a foot space that you can see. Uh, I'm pretty sure she knows her whole area. She can see her whole area. Got him both. So yeah. Ivan is going to Ivan's going to slide outside and shoot. Yeah, she's sliding outside and shooting. No, 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 hold, hold on. on. Ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got no, this game ridiculous. Just roll initiative. All right, yeah. So before we roll initiative, with Jen having gone out and tried to tackle her. No, because you guys are okay. doing way too many actions. It's it's initiative time. Bullshit. <laughs> Watch, this is worse than the Illithids, and Mark tried his damn just to steer us away from it. Oh, I got a three. I got a fucking six. Let's oh, go, boys! Stupid thing. Didn't have the token picked on. I know, me neither. <laughs> I guess, sir, tell him what you had. That's inside the door. Okay, that maybe when it. she appears to be bloodied, non lethal damage. There you go. Okay, All right. I'll try. No promises. <laughs> All right. Those bones well, can do real non lethal Wait, damage. who didn't roll initiative? It's Brock, and he had a 16. 16, okay. Big chain. All right, Edith, you're up first. All right, Edith is going to pop two rounds in him. She's going to uh, use one of her grit points to gain an advantage on her attacks. Okay. Oh, oh, that's Nat 20. Nat 20 hits. Uh, 23 points of crit damage. She's going to attack again. Her second shot. Okay, this is 23. 22. 22 hit. 22 does hit. Another 22 points of damage. She's going to action surge. Mm hmm. 21. 21 hits. Then another 20 points for other okay. shot. Okay. Okay. 18 does that hit? Easy does hit. 21 points of damage. Alright. Well, she's bloodied. And, uh,. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well. 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 No. No. Back up. Back up. Hang on. Let me just. There we go. All right. She is going to go to one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 and she's going to take a rock off the ground and hit the well that you guys never, that you guys didn't notice. And this is creature's gonna appear. And then Ooh. she's going to counter losses because she's bloody. And plane shift. This. Oh, fuck. Did Jay just go motherfucker? This will be an initiative. And that will end her turn. All right, Crook, you're up. All right, I will. Is this thing flying? Worming? No, it's on top of the well. Let me blow it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, We've dealt with tentacle motherfuckers before. Get there. Can you 
get to here and then shoot it from afar. Yeah, I guess I'll just poke it. And then... Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll throw Produce Flame at it. 27 hit it. 27 does hit it. And then I turn into my, my favorite giant snake friend. Okay, hang on. So, snake versus worm. I, I just saw your token. What the hell happened? You're gonna have to reposition yourself. Alright. There you go. Hang on. Let me. There you go. Alright, and I uh, just menacingly uh, sit there and hiss at it. Alright. Next up is Jen. Uh, Jen is going to. Move. Uh, use step of the wind. Get right up next yep. to it. Yep. And punch it. Hey, let me mark off my key real quick. And then, uh, yep, he's gonna try to punch it. Nope. And then try to punch it again. Just rear back. Oh, wait, was that the first? What's that? Yeah, I'm trying to see something. So I know there's a something when you roll an attack fail. Hang on. For what? Uh, it's a it's it's an area effect. It's a layer effect. Sorry. Oh, okay. Ah, that's what happens. Okay. So Jen. Yeah. As you try to magically hit it with the first attack, your arm hits the page of the book, and ink spews out. Jen, you are blinded to the end of your next turn. Wow. Is it a... Is it... Is the trigger a magical nat one? Or just any nat one? It's any nat one you make with an attack okay. roll. Cool. Now, a lot and of people... Because I know people are going to be like, well, we rolled saves checks with nat one. Nah, it's no, it's, it's all good. Um, So, so the second one... Sorry. You are blinded to the end of your next turn. Blinded. Okay, let me add the condition. And then uh, attacking with the second one would be disadvantage. It would be. Okay, let me. Let As me ink just spews off the page right into your eye holes. Okay. Second one is an 11. The blades come down. Miss. Okay. Uh, can Jen use. Oh, jeez. It's an action to get rid of the rest blinded. of. Yeah, can Jen use the rest of um, Step of the Wind to move here? Uh, You're going to have to roll me a d4, buddy. Even though you have Step of the Wind, you have no idea. I, I was just going to. Okay, never mind. He was going to stay right there or. Backward. I mean, if you're running backwards, uh, hey, you, I mean, are you going to run backwards? Where he was, he was here, and he came from, uh, he came from up here, so here, so he's just going to turn around and try to run back in this direction, but he can definitely run. I can roll a d4. Yeah, you just roll a d4 really quick. Yeah. Four. Yeah, no problem. Go right back to where you were. Okay. That's it in Jen's turn. All right, next up is Ivan. What the? Yeah, Ivan. Ah, oh, no way, I did that wrong. Next up is this creature's turn. Then Ivan. So five, ten. Hello, Sneaky. First attack is going to be with its tail to the snake. Does a 21 hit the snake? Oh, yeah. 
Snake is taking. Nine bludgeoning damage. Second attack is going to be with his tentacles. Does a 15 hit the snake? Yep. Alright. So that's going to be... Twenty three slashing damage, and the third attack is going to be with its beak. There's a twenty six hit. Yeah. That you're going to take fourteen piercing. How's the snake looking? Pretty bad. Cool. Ugh. Jen, I mean Jen, ugh. Ivan, you are now up. Ivan? You're so quiet, but I think I can hear you really. You can't hear him at all. I heard something. Yay. Ivan. Jivan. <laughs> hello? Hey. Yeah, hello? right here. Snake took a hell of a lot of damage. Seven. Okay, can you... Heard you for a what? second and then it cut out. Yeah. We'll just wreck on his turn. Uh, Narcrawl, you're up. Oh, he's back in. You, you there, Jay? Yep. Are, you, are you there? We don't hear you, you are. Yeah, his icon's not even turning green. Narcrawl, just go. Okay, I am going to move towards my large big friend. All right. And oh. cure wounds, uh, third level. I could have been better. Man. Anyway, uh, thirteen healing to you. Uh, bonus action. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. You should I... eat them. You see him use his mace, smack his own hand, blood comes out, he traces the purple rune in the sky and it leaves like magical tracers as he uh, does it and the creature needs to make a DC 16 saving throw uh, on what Sorry, uh, on the worm no, I, I know but you like, guys better now yeah. Yeah, you're back. Uh, no, no, like, what saving throw do I make? Strength. Strength. Got it. Cool. Ooh, they're really good on strength. Hang on. That is a 16. Fuck. Are you serious? All right. Yeah, rolled nat 16. <laughs> Meets it, beats it. Yeah. It's actually technically rolled a mod 20. Oh, okay. All right. Not 20. 
Anything else? You, you see the magic start. I envision swirls of purple and black, or purple and green around him. And then it shakes off after a second and kind of explodes. I mean, no effect. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. And your turn. Next up is Edith. Ivan, is it? He's back. Uh, oh, Ivan, sorry. Ivan, you're up. With the wreck on your turn. All right. All right. Now, Ivan is going to run about right there. Pull out the. He's going to pull out. Y'all can hear me, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. cool. He's going to pull out the firearm, pull out the rifle, and he's going to shoot him a good old scorching ray. Uh, Mess. That is one. Two. Now 20 hits. And yes, it does. Oh, my God. That is three. Third one hits, but the second, uh, the first and third uh, miss. The second one hits. All right. So it is going to deal with what's critical damage. Is it double? It's double dice. Double dice. So it's going to be five. Uh... You can right click the thing and hit roll critical damage. Spell. Oh, 11 damage. 11 fire damage. All right, takes the 11 fire. And, um, how close am I? Well, not too close. That's it. That's all he's going to do. All right, next Thanks, up sir. is top of the round, Edith. Edith is going to jump on top of the roof right over here. Yep. And... Oh wait! I'm oh, sorry. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm... Go, go ahead. So I, I fucked up. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. What do you got to do? You, you were before me. Hey, you already took your turn. It's okay. Go ahead. All right. Well, uh, she's going to shoot this dude here. She's right. going to try a non-modded. Uh, that's probably going to hit. That hits. Twenty-eight. She's going to shoot it again. Twenty-eight. Yeah, it's not gonna hit. Nope. All right, and uh, that's the end of her turn. Yep. Uh, Next before up. I end my turn, I want to send my drone out, and I want it to watch this door. Okay. Grook, you're up. So we can't be surprised if it opens. All right. Grook is gonna. Uh... Well, he's going to bonus action pop out his little spikes from his shield. Oh. Okay. You see a spike snake now. And it's going to try to constrict them. All right. A snake. He's a spiky snake now. Oh, he's a spike snake. snake. Sixteen misses. Uh, or maybe he spikes that has a snake. Alright. Well, oh, uh, sure. Maybe it won't bite me now that it's a spiky snake. <laughs> Still have some hit points on it, so... <laughs> Anything else, Crook? Nope. This bonus action of pop the spikes and... Uh... Yeah, he's happy where he is. Maybe I shift over just a little bit. All right. The blind robot, you're up next. <laughs> the blind robot. Jen's gonna try to not be blinded anymore. He's gonna try to whip right. the ink out of his uh, out that of their is, eyes. That's considered an action. That's fine. What would you like me to roll? No, it's just it's a full. It's an action to remove blinded, just like it was an action. Stop, drop, roll if you're burning. Okay. It's usually an action to get rid of status condition. Like. All right. But can we say little windshield wipers come out? Yeah. I will 100% allow that. <laughs> That's canon. something you've never seen before. Well, technically, nobody know. The only two people 
oh, well, one person only knows your blueprint. Uh, you're the only one who's ever met her. <laughs> it's true. I like to think of uh, Jen as more steampunk, uh, not as much Warforged. That's All right. Wait, when, you, when, when so. your eyes like when you clear the, the stuff out of your eyes, does it also like shoot like water spray? Like <laughs> we call it wind windshield windshield fluid. Yeah. And then like it does. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right, Jen. That was your action. Any yep. bonus actions? Uh, Jen's gonna raise their hands, and the eyes are gonna uh, his their eyes are gonna like close. Uh, Shoot laser beams. Their eyes are gonna close, and then when they open back up, it's gonna be a like a pure black color, and uh, large spectral large spectral ravens uh, will begin to to circle Jen, and then move. Jen will raise their hand, and the ravens will follow their hand and start circling around the the creature. And it's essentially um, X. All right. Can you, what are you hexing? Um. <laughs> strength. Strength. Nice. Yes. Right. Uh, anything else, Jen? <sighs> uh, Jen is going to yell for Lenore to help. Um, Narcrawl. All right. Next up is the worm guy, and he. I give a. Sh he will take the damage. So first attack. Is on the is is the tail. Does an eighteen hit the snake? Yeah. All right. First, let me roll the damage. Um. Take 11 bludgeoning. And now you roll the shield damage. Four. And a heal a point. Yep, and heal a point. So I take a point, you heal a point. Swappies. <laughs> Maybe it, maybe it didn't like that. No, 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 no. Oh. Second attack on you. That is a mod 20. So let me roll the damage. That is 23 uh, slashing damage. Back, not snake. Twenty-three. Right. So that's. Oh, uh, we're doing that wall shape into druid hip bullshit. What? It's the main feature of that class. <laughs> yeah, it's the main feature of the class. I know. I I've played the druid before. What are you saying now? No, no, no. I, w I was saying you're doing that out of wall shape to druid map. Yep. He doesn't. He isn't taking any damage. Yeah, I did. I need my token. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Now his damage did Gruck take? Uh, some. Okay. There we go. I don't know where I. Get no, you were. The... You were right near me. Exactly, well, you walled shape where you were. Well, I take up a three by three, so. I'm gonna say you're still near me. Okay. Because you would have to be really close. All right, take three more, and I'll heal, heal for one. All right, and the final attack <laughs> is the beak. Does a 16 hit you? No. It clunks off right. his shield. Yep. Does it still take damage, though? It does still take... 
uh, yeah, still takes the damage. But, and with whatever you roll, it is bloodied. Oh, okay. Heals for one. Alright, and that's gonna end this dude's turn. Next up is Ivan. Alright. It's Ivan's turn to shine. Um, Ivan is going to do something. It's going to be cool. That does stuff, you know? It's going to be um, cool. I hope so. Because I do have something I want to do, and I'm scared it might not work, but I don't know. Let's see. Bear in mind, he's bloodied. If his dope-ass thing is... He's bloody. Oh, fuck it. I might as well do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit him with another Scorching Ray. I'm not gonna waste no time. Alright. <laughs> Does an 18 hit? Oh, it's hanging on. Does the second Scorching Ray hit? You literally let's need... See, let's see. You, you literally need to roll an 18 or higher. Okay. On this, on the, on the, on the next two rays. Oh, that one, that one, that one definitely doesn't hit. <laughs> no, um, but uh, unfortunately, it's an attack roll. So you hit the page, Ivan. You are blinded to the enemy next turn as the ink oh. goes into your eyes. Do I still, do I still roll for the last? Yeah, ray, but it or? has to be a disadvantage. Okay. Let's see. I need to do that. Okay, there mm -hmm. you go. All right. Oh! No, that no. All right, well hold on. Let me roll damage. Um, we well, already rolled damage. Was the it? Third... What was it? Oh, it was eight oh. points of fire damage. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So, Ivan, you're blinded to the end of your next turn as you hit the page and ink spews off and blinds you. That is it. Ivan is now screaming in frustration. Hold on one second. All right, yeah. Ivan is now screaming in frustration. Yeah. Nightcrawl, you're up. Uh, I just want to fucking hit with my mace. Go ahead. You literally need an 18. Uh, walk on up. Swagger a little bit. Like, yeah. Uh, like Elvis. Yeah. Ah! And whiff like a motherfucker. Whiff. Anything else, Narcrawl? Would it be an advantage because Lenore is helping? That doesn't matter. Ten was. All right. It, it wouldn't matter. Oh, yeah, I see. Ten was now. the highest. Yep. <laughs> All right. Do I have any cool ass bonus actions I can kill somebody? I don't know. Here's your weapon. Yeah, that's it. That's my go. All right. Edith, come on. You just need an eighteen. Is Edith out of bullets by now? Edith does not have a bullet restriction. I don't do arrow or bullet counting. It's not survival. It's not a survival campaign. That you don't even have to follow the reload rule that's on your weapons. I do, but it goes. I can shoot six times. I've only shot six now, and I bonus action to reload. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, this is why I'm banning guns in the next campaign. Uh, first shot is a miss. Miss. Second shot misses. Second shot time. hits the page, blinds Eat up to the end of her next turn. Oh my God. <laughs> a lot <of> natural one. <laughs> and uh, Edith is unjamming her gun while she's blood. Yep. Anything else, Edith? That will be it. Grook, come on. 18. Um, <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. Gruck is mad at this thing. Okay. Uh, what doesn't have to hit it? Uh... <laughs> he is hexed. Yeah, I'm just seeing what 
What's that mean again? It has disadvantage on strength checks. Strength. And saving throws. And saving throws, yep. Oh, I wish I had that before I did my fucking binding. Oh, I don't have anything. I just need, like, a fireball. Wait, is it looking no, really no, shitty? No, no, not fireball. You just need to hit it one time. <laughs> I can, it's literally I, one time. I give it the breath weapon to the face. We're all gonna go blind. Okay, so it's a deck save. It doesn't really fucking matter if it succeeds. <laughs> yeah, he still takes point damage, right? Yeah. So you're gonna breath weapon? Yep. It is dead. Finally! Alright, as you guys. Yeah. No, oh, you guys are talking about. Grok got rocked. I would have killed anybody else in the party. Yeah, it yeah, did. How does Grok the dragon? It, it would it would have gone out to Jen, but Jen did Step of the Wind. I swear, I'm never gonna get oh, a sentinel oh, oh. attack ever. Oh, that, oh, this is where the DM gets now smart and knows all your abilities. Yeah, but you're metagaming against me if you're doing that. How am I metagaming against you? How would the worm I, have known I have sentinel? I didn't say the worm had knew you had sentinel. That I, as the DM, now have to counteract your abilities to give you more of a challenge. It's all gonna right. kind of. Hop off it's kind of it's kind of like what if I went oh game? the mind flayer oh uh, I do dissonant I do and it I make Eda for an tell I mean it'd be better for him to make me roll a strength check but you know who's counting yeah. who's counting <laughs> all right well whatever Gruck is gonna uh Gruck doesn't look so bad. Mm. Rock isn't sure what's going on with this other door. I can't quite tell where it is, though. Which side? Yeah, we're gonna come unbind the people inside first. Alright, you guys successfully unbinded. And you see these two uh, leafy people, um, you know. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, 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 you start talking in Sylvan. Uh, do you, you said you two speak Elvish, right? Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a? F We'd be able to understand bits and pieces of what they're saying. Uh, no. It. Wait. No. 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 We're not doing that. It's so, either Elvis or Sylvan. So Jen will take out um, a quill and paper and just shake his head and nut and like shrug, and just hand the paper and the quill and tell and like gesture for them to write. Gruck Gr okay. will come in and tell them he can read anything, but he can't speak it. Gruck plants this idea in their mind. And they start speaking Elvish. Thank you. We were strolling to meet some satyrs, and when we were this brutal fiend, I... My name is Tricalia, and this is my sister Argentina. Hey, ladies. Hey there, ladies. By the way, that's Argentia, not Argentina. There's no N. No second no second N. Argentina. Are they human? You taken? Where are they? We we were just we all know this this the fiendish woman just captured us. She was going to strip. Of our leaves using her vile pu- Wait, wait wh where's our other sister? There's three oh, of us. No. Well, there's the house we haven't checked yet. Yeah, we have one more playing to check. That is true. Before. Uh, I need someone to roll me an arcana or investigation check in the top i don't i'm, I'm very good at arcana and go ahead it's all you plus seven. Oh, go ahead i'm yeah. plus six uh i Damn. can assist you or you can assist me are you proficient i'm proficient it's just your proficiencies are just a tad bit higher dm can i roll an advantage if he's helping 
Uh, are you both of you, are any of you, both of you proficient or one of you proficient? I have expertise I'm and he's proficient as well, so can I help him? Uh, or... sure. Wait, I'm still blinded. Sorry. <laughs> You're blinded right. again. Ivan, you roll at advantage. Okay. Yeah, the blindness is now off on you guys. Oh. It's Shit. been more than six seconds. Eighteen and a... Oh. I mean, yeah. He needed yeah. twelve. So anyway, okay. you find on the shelves a potion of clairvoyance and a potion of greater healing. Ooh. I totally need that. Graph is not really. Kruk is not in the house. Kruk is watching the other door. Right. There is an opening. Just waiting for the want... party. Yeah, he is going to stack on the door and uh, prep an action to go in and shoot. Uh -huh. Yep, same. Same, same, same. Yeah. We're not gonna even stay with the captives. Kick the door down, recon. Young blood. All right. We set C4 charges on the door and uh, below it. Breach! 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 <laughs> All right. So as you open the door, Grook, you get wide-eyed. As you see, a shit ton of animals. Oh. Is there, there a tied up Rook person? Is strangely aroused. Yep, and you see a bounding gagged creature person. Now, what are these animals? Well, and I hope Gurk is writing this down. Uh, better. You see. A baboon, a hyena, a boar, <laughs> hey, buddy. an ape, not giant ape, just regular old ape. No, that's a gorilla. That is an ape. Gorilla. Okay. okay. Are we really going to do this? Well, that, that token is a gorilla. Listen, listen. I say it's ape. ape it's book. ape. All right, man. Listen, as a fellow primate, <laughs> as a homo sapien, just like you. <laughs> yes, people, humans are primates. Yeah, no, we're important. smart monkeys. We, <clears throat> we're actually all living in a simulation, but we don't need to get into that right Yeah, now. I know. Anyway, <laughs> we see a vulture, a bloodhawk, an eagle, a giant rat. A hawk and a barn owl. We also see the carcasses mm. of a rabbit. Uh... Shiver. Shivers come from Eda. Um A fox. A wolf. And it appears to be a badger. Edith's gonna walk towards. Uh, she's walk. She's aiming her gun towards the uh, the eight, and she's gonna what? with one ha one hand. She's unlocked. Uh, she's freeing and ungagging the uh, the Sylvan. Are the why are we targeting the eight? Yeah, it's dark uncle definitely in there. It, it's a human. It, it, it could burst out. She's never seen it before. That's no. Oh, now you have. And All right. She goes. going to begin casting a uh, lower on the evolutionary a ritual. Uh, is it speak with animals? It is speak with animals. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna say you guys. I'm gonna say while you're casting this, you guys are person. Also, um, Grook, roll me animal handling, just for the sake of it. Uh, you can even do it with advantage because you're casting speak with animals soon. But I, I don't think we should unlock all these cages right away. We didn't know if you guys all play together very well. 
they just start murdering each other. Right, like maybe we should let them out in a certain order. So like some people certain are trying to order. Shit. Sure. Well, well, I think the only animal you're dying at the vulture. I'm gonna. Well, I just crit animal handling, so. Yep. So knowing your speak with animals, your best bet out of all these animals to talk, to, and mm -hmm. for some reason out of all these has the highest is definitely the ape. I looked. Out of all of these, the ape has the highest intelligence. That's close to an evolutionary link. That makes sense. All right, so... Uh... So first, we're going to go back to the leaf person because we're still technically ritual casting. And you see the leaf person go... <sighs> start speaking in Elvish. <sighs> Thank you, whoever you are. <sighs> <sighs> Edith. Say that again? I said thank you, whoever you are in Elvis. Uh, she replies, thank you. You're welcome back. And she <laughs> hops to her feet. Have you seen my sisters? We have. We have them. They're being watched by our friends. We've come to save you. And she just runs towards the exit. Doesn't even pay attention to Narkral Grook. Edith follows. Alright. So, with that conversation going on, now you can't speak of animals. And you see uh, that this ape should be big and mighty and muscular, but kind of weak and kind of malnourished. And he goes, What do you want? I, I intend to help you. You're presumably captured. You went for that vile woman that captured me. We have driven her off. We attempt to slay her. <laughs> Who are you? How do you how do you talk with me in that tongue? Rock tries to calm him down and reassures them that he's the druid of the moon circle. So you're one with nature? I am. I, I've met some of your kind in the past when I was swinging on the vines in chalk. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. As Grook is talking to this gorilla, how do we interpret it? Oh, they're both grunting and ooh eyeing at Got it, alright. No, no, Gruck is not. Gruck is just talking psionically. It's not going to do you the, the favor of that. It's, it's, like, it's well. too late. It's, it's, it's too late. It's already canon. The DM said it. No, no. Gruck's just staring at him. <laughs> Girl is doing that back. Alright. Gruck is just peacefully oh. staring at him. Um, hey, I want to see something really quick. I was gonna whisper to Edith, is, is he talking to that gorilla? Uh, 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 unfortunately, Grook, it is a verbal spell. What? Ah! <laughs> Speak of animals is verbal. You cast it. Yes, it is. You cast it, it's a verbal. I know, but it's still verbal. You're, you're talking to the gorilla. You're making You have to noise. talk to it. <laughs> it's <laughs> canon. <laughs> it's canon. You are grunting and ooing at it. <laughs> unless you have, unless you have uh, that subtle spell bullshit that sorcerers get, you, you are straight up ooh eyeing it. Ah, <laughs> wow. Anyway, so the ape goes. Thank you. She would come in here and harvest our organs. That First, she is... went for the fox, and then the rabbit. Viable. It is. Do you, do you have any... I, I intend to free you. I, I yelled at Narkle, you probably want to get out of here. I'm good. Oh, okay. So Gruck's going to start, you... start showing the gorilla he means no harm and start with some of the smaller animals and letting them out. I just know somebody here I would tangle with. And yeah, looking, but uh, 
the hyena, you should... What? Well, because the what hyena is a uh, kind of a carnivore and will attack you. <laughs> hyena, do you wish to keep your organs inside your body? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, I mean, <laughs> verbally, <laughs> game recognition. Hey, hey. I just want to know how that sounds. <laughs> like Mark, right That's now. That's how it sounds. <laughs> Have you guys not met a hyena? Have none of you watched I, The I Lion just, King? I, no, I have. I, I thought you were really laughing. <laughs> I thought that was you really laughing. I, I thought it was the first just, two, but then I thought I, just, I yeah. just want to go be on my Nolan cat. <laughs> Mind you, there's one of you. I just drove off your captors and give you a chance to continue your place in nature. Do as you Oh no! <laughs> He's got <gonna> really smash. <laughs> Can I eat the boar? He's funny. You may resume your roll once you're one mile from this plot. Pl oh, so uh, he escaped, and then like a mile away, I got attacked by him? That is the way nature goes. Can I just have the caucuses? Says the co says the vulture. I mean, <laughs> of course. Sure. I mean, it's just looking at this entire exchange with pure amazement. Right, like not understanding a goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> but like, nothing turned uh, aggressive yet. So this is I'm why I wanted the hyena to release is to, to, to be, all these animals to to be released last. I understand hierarchy in the food chain, but unfortunately, gentlemen, I have to go to work now. Rook is a okay. doolittle. Like the the, the little creatures, like the mago. The the vulture, then the yeah, boar. Doctor Doolittle. So, Ape. Baboon. I say let the flying animals go first. Yeah. He does. All right. I asked, the, the, I asked the ape if he if he has any if he knows where any unusually large specimens of ape are. <laughs> Let's see. Get yourself back. Let's see. Well, is a silverback you... gorilla? It's can, a... you... oh. can, can you enlarge him so, so I've seen a giant gorilla? <laughs> well, I if you go visit Schultz, there's a plethora of apes and gorillas there. I will do that someday. Alright, so... One by one, you slowly release the animals. The hawks and the owl just vamp and fly out of there. The locks are rustic, so they're not easy to so they're easy to unlock. So goodbye, you flying animals. Be free. <laughs> Next is the vulture, and the vulture just like goes, okay. I'm just gonna get this one. Oh no no, this one's fresh. And he takes the fox carcass and flies with him. Again, Knuckles shaking his head. Can't understand a word of this. But just do, do you want to? What happens? Do you want to, Narco? Well, yeah. All right. Uh, the rat. Just... No, I guess it's self. I was saying, can you cast that somebody else? But you can't. All right. Uh, the, the mouse finds a little cubby hole, burrows underneath, and runs to the... And then the baboon is next, and he shows his red ass at you. Get a good jump on that hyena, my friend. He's got that fucking balloon knot. I asshole. can only stall him for so long. All right. The boar slowly... Using you as a shield. And then Vamps dashes out. So hyena or ape, which one you release? Ape. Ape. Thank you. You're 
are welcome. When I get back to the jungle, I shall tell your tale. <laughs> and I must move fast. It's mating season. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you get some, boy. Yeah, you go, I, I, you I go get some. Some gorilla titties or whatever tale. it is. I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What that is the most happening? most vulgar thing I've ever heard Grux say. <laughs> and I again, didn't it's, I didn't again, it. <laughs> again, it's an ape. I don't know how we got into Gorilla. Because the I icon mean, uh, is literally Rick a gorilla. I can't, I can't. I, get past I that. literally put images ape, and that was the first one that appeared. That, that is not an ape. Apes, it, apes and gorillas I'm, are genetic. I'm looking at my different. screen and it's a gorilla, and then then I'm I'm speaking and it's a gorilla. So gorilla comes out. It's an ape, okay. But it's an ape. You don't wash it into a gorilla. It's an ape. And next right. is my hyena. <laughs> Your place. You have a place in the circle of life, just like everything else. And the animals are set free. So it's kind of like that one shot in Pee Wee and Pee Wee's Big Event shot. Oh my god. So as the animal is free and you continue your journey through the storybook, you hear a voice goes, and then the high five released all the animals into the wild. Unfortunately, the boar didn't make it halfway to the hyena got to jump on his ass. The hell? Shit uh, happens. Also, the owl got the giant oh. rat. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Hey, nature. Damn, nature, you're scary. I was just gonna say. <laughs> Damn, nature. Pretty much. <laughs> As the story moves along to figure out, and the hi-fi moved their way to the. Pool. That's where we're gonna end tonight.